is not it's not a sport in the sense that the better you are at the physical part of it the better you will do in the end how your career progresses depends a lot more on the promoter than you yourself and if you can get that in your head right away at the beginning it will be a lot easier on you and what I mean by that is uh, a lot of guys go through their career and they get to a certain, you know, they hone their craft. They get to a certain status and they feel like, oh, well, I should be doing better. I should be winning matches. I should be holding titles, whatever, whatever. It's not up to you. It's up to the promoter. And whether the promoter has ideas that are in your best interest or that benefit you personally, that's circumstantial. The promoter is trying to do what he thinks is best for his business, and if that means taking Eric and making him world champion on his first match, and he thinks that's the best thing for business, then that's what he'll do. And Mike here may have been wrestling for 10 years and be a better wrestler, but for whatever reason, he's not the guy that they decide to give the ball to. And just like acting, there, when, you, when you are the product, when you are trying to sell yourself and someone says no thanks or I, I, you're not the right person for this, feelings can get hurt. And I've been there. I, I, I often wonder why the hell things that have happened to me in my career have happened that way. Like, well, crap, if they'd have just <laughs> let me win that match, or if they'd have just put the belt on me then or something. Uh, but you have to take a step back and go, okay, well, it's not up to me. It's up to promoter. And I'll be pointing at you gentlemen a lot. So when I say they, uh, don't hate them. But uh, sometimes, sometimes they can be perceived as the bad guys. And there you have it. Um, so if you sort of get in your head that the only thing that you can affect in terms of your career is what happens the minute you do this. This is all you control. Everything you do in this ring, you control. If you care about your product, if you care about your craft, you will get as good as you can get here. And then it's up to them if they will, if they utilize you to your potential. But like I said, it doesn't, always, it doesn't always mean that the best wrestler, how many times have you seen where the best wrestler in a company doesn't, you know, isn't the champ, isn't the top guy, isn't whatever. It's, there's a reason. Um, and uh, it, the guys in the business that have, you know, not let go of that or have always put too much into it or care too much about this, they forget that it's not up to them. So, and, and let me tell you this too, this is not, this is not a, uh, a license to say, ah, don't, don't try hard. Take pride in what you do here. Because in the end, like I said, this is all you control. And if you get a reputation for, oh well, it's, you know, it's a work, so I'm not gonna try hard. Well, that's, that's an easy reason to be pushed aside. If you bust your ass, care about how you look, care about how you are perceived by promoters, the odds are good that you will be looked upon as a commodity and used. And the rest is up to the whims of them.